Jasper Munhi, uh, 40 years old. I have three kids. Uh, I've been living in Princeton for the last seven years. Uh, I initially had worked with Universal Rovina Corporation where I stayed for 14 years. After my stint in URC, uh, I became the general manager of uh, Silk Road uh, for a stint of five years. That was the time when the pandemic hit and uh, the business slowed down. When I met my wife, actually I met her way, way back in college. But I started uh, courting her when I was already working with URC. That was the time when uh, we were already making plans on uh, our future. And we had an opportunity to view one of the units uh, that SMDC had, and that was in Princeton. When we saw the pre-selling unit, uh, we immediately fell in love. Three weeks after that, uh, we immediately called the real estate broker and uh, we signed in some papers. We soon decided to get married. Uh, after getting married, the unit was still uh, being constructed. We lived for, in, for a year in uh, Santa Rosa, Laguna, where we had our firstborn. SMDC called us for the unit turnover a year after in 2013. Upon the turnover of the unit, we were the pioneer residents of SMDC. SMDC provides a very uh, nice and harmonious community towards uh, raising kids because uh, a lot of families uh, with kids are also living there. Prior to having our own business, uh, going to the food service has been a long time dream with my wife, but we never had the opportunity, time. We were very busy with our corporate life. But when the pandemic hit and the business slowed down, we had a lot of free time. So that gave us an opportunity to think and revisit our long time dream if we would like to pursue we decided to go into food service business because one of her friends in Cebu Pacific went into the same business as Sangyup Cart and it went well. And um, initially, uh, when we were running the business, uh, we tried to think of a different uh, approach. In fact, our first approach was the old school type. I tried to put some leaflets on the cars parked in SMDC, but it didn't work. We even tried putting mailers. We printed a lot and put on the mail, but again, it didn't work. We were getting a bit frustrated because uh, we're quite new to this uh, to this setup until I saw an ad when we I entered the elevator that there's a weekend market. So I gave a call to our property admin and asked if I could set up a table. I was surprised to see that it was for free because most of events like that will charge you rental for the day. And they gave us a table we had our printouts and we had our ice boxes. Uh, and the printout was just pasted on the ice boxes. So that's how we started our first store. So uh, when the weekend market started, uh, it was a big opportunity for us and uh, it was a success. There was a big sales uh, on our part, but two weeks after that, uh, we got an invite uh, from SMDC Marketing if you would like to expand further to other properties. Uh, so we split. My wife was uh, for Princeton and I went to the other property. Uh, what pushed us to further um, uh, elevate or raise the bar is when we got an invite to Breeze Residences. The Breeze Residences has a different type of market, mostly are on the high end. And that was the time we realized that the simple ice boxes will not suffice. So from a small ice box, we move into the big ones. We had a good sales when we launched it in the Breeze Market. We had a weekend market at Princeton. We had a weekend market at Mesa Residences. We had the weekend market at Breeze Residences all at the same time. Uh, we had to start hiring some people to help us with the selling. What's good was uh, on top of the opportunities SMDC gave us, uh, they also provided us some training uh, that would allow us to enhance further our, our skills in terms of this, you know, this venture. Uh, more over than that, uh, I think it was more of the big opportunity that SMDC provided in terms of exposure because I, we were covering uh, several properties, not only from Breeze, eventually all the properties in MOA. Since we expanded to all the properties, we created employment. Moving forward, we're looking at opening our own restaurant, maybe in the right time. Right now, we're just trying to get a feel and I'm very thankful that SMDC has provided us the environment, the business environment, and the networks. What a good advice can be, um, always explore new opportunities and never give up. Because if you stop, 
on a particular problem, then that's the end of your business. But uh, of course, passion is number one. Even if you have a goal, but if you don't have that passion, it will, uh, it's very nece uh, necessary to keep you going. And uh, as long as you keep on trying and never give up, and uh, always find solutions and new alternatives, there will be an opportunity wherein you can find a better market for your product. I'm Jasper Moonhee, this is my wife and my kids, and this is our good story.